All right, the second one that we um, are going to talk about is, uh, is proton decay. All right, again, proton decay. So when we have a proton go to a neutron plus a positron and a neutrino. All right. Um, and this is also often called a beta plus decay because it releases a positron, which is uh, the, they used to call beta plus particles. Um, now we can go ahead and uh, calculate just like we did for the, uh, the neutron decay, uh, what would actually happen. So in this case, you start with a um, nucleus that has a, a, uh, a nucleons and Z protons. And then what you do is you actually go to a final one that has one fewer proton because one of your protons is decayed. You still have the same number of nucleons because it's just a proton that's turned into a neutron. Um, you emit a positron, which is an anti-electron, an electron with a positive charge, and you emit a neutrino. All right, so again, just like we did before, we can see uh, what condition will cause, uh, will allow for beta decay. Again, what we're gonna find is that the mass initial of the nucleus, uh, let, me, let me draw this the way that Thomas More does in the book. The mass initial of the nucleus has to be greater than the mass final of the nucleus plus the mass of the electron. Uh, there are two things to, to note for this. First of all, um, the reason we're using mass of the electron is because a positron and electron, again, are the same. They just differ by a charge. And so the mass of the electron is the same as the mass of the positron. I'll also point out we never include the neutrinos because neutrinos are largely considered massless. Um, and so we don't have to worry about uh, the actual mass of, um, of those things. We're gonna do the same thing we did last time, which is just add um, Z mass uh, of electrons. All right, just like we did last time. All right, and uh, what we're going to find again is that now this turns into a mass initial of the atom for uh, it has to be greater than um, again, the the uh, the final um, the final atom has z minus one electrons. Um, but we actually have Z plus one electrons here. And so what this is going to turn into this is going to turn an M final of the atom, but then we're going to have two electron masses left, left over because we only have Z minus one electrons here. So there's only Z minus one electrons here. All right. And then again, we had um, a, a Z times the mass of electron here, and we added an extra electron, uh, you know, a positron in this case. Um, over here, and so the for the mass, it's a total of uh, of two. Sorry, my my uh, I want to make sure that that looks like a two, not a z. Um, there's two massive electrons right there, and so for for it to do, go through proton decay or beta plus decay, um, uh, it'll go through that any time the mass, the final mass plus two, the mass of two electrons, is is less than the initial mass of the atom. And so that's how you do it with for proton decay.